Time to continue then. <clears throat> it's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expect this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. Sayori isn't answering her phone. Consider going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over, so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monika, I'm sure the event will be great too. Cowboy! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That is funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monika is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. Must be the one she prepared that has all the poems we'd be performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monika would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yes, she overswept again. That who dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. Yeah, there's no game music right now. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. Yeah, I mean, there's sound. There's just no music in this scene. And I suddenly feel awful. I mean, it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ah ha ha You should take a little responsibility for her, cowboy. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that. Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Ugh. Monika is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yes. Sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh, yes, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so, too. Flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poem was from the one they performed during our practice. What is this? Flip to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Cowboy? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that... I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Calls that out, calls that out after me. Quicken my pace. What was I thinking? 
I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. Not a big deal to at least wait for her, or help her wake up. Even the simplest gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori! She really is a heavy sleeper. Swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori! Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter our room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. And there's the story. An exception has occurred. File game script, character fire, RPY line 307, same tree spec dot text for details. Game script <coughs> CH5 RPY line 307? file. Let me try and open it in Notepad. RPA 3.0000 Made with RenPy. There's a little devil inside of all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mass of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower, starving them all of motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable tangled mess is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. What the fuck is this shit, dude? And the rest of it's just gibberish. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean... That's off. But that would mean I didn't talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Is there more text in here? Sayori's winning words. Natsuki's words. Yuri's words. The rest of this looks like it's just gibberish. Traceback.txt. I never saw a traceback text though. Audio, saves, Python packages, cache, game slash script dash rh5. Is there a character package? Characters. <laughs> Yuri Natsuki Monika. So her character has just been deleted from the characters folder. That's fun. Um, DLC app contents resources. No, it's just icons. Trace back. I found it. What is this? Happy thoughts. Oh my god! What the fuck is this picture? There is some fucked up shit going on with this game! Hold up. Hold up. 
Properties. I don't know if I can get it to work right now. There's this thing that just says happy thoughts. What the fuck is this shit? And then here we got. Alright, so the characters. There's only three characters now. The other characters have been erased. Let's read this trace back thing. I'm sorry, but an uncalled exception occurred. While running game code, file game script, RPY, line 67, script call, file game script, and script. Restart context. Oh, geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec. I can probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one making this so difficult. Aha, well, here goes nothing. Full traceback. Steam, Steam apps, common, Doki Doki literature, rempy execution.py, line 761, and run context of game run. Script call, and execute, rempy exports, dot say, who, what, interact, self, dot, interact, and say, who, what, self, interact, line 877, and call self, do display. What the fuck, dude? Restart top context. But nice. Real nice. We're just gonna keep that open while I continue to play. I might need to re add Doki Doki. We'll see what happens. Let me try and hit like, uh. Alright, so that's still working. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Siri wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Siri I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I only had one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now... I can never take it back. Never. 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 End? <laughs> That's it? Oh, man. What the fuck? <laughs> what is happening, dude? <laughs> what is she? Her face is all deformed. What is this game, dude? Yo, I didn't kill her. Y'all killed her. Y'all voted for this. What is, what is this? Am I supposed to click this? Is that like a new game? I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air. She's totally oblivious. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, that kind of friend you never see. We used to watch to school together. This is the very start of the game. What the fuck? clubs or aren't really anything to interest me. Besides, most of them are probably way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Cowboy? Onika? 
Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. <laughs> Monika smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monika was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league, so having her smile feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Looking for some supplies to use for my club. You know, if there's any construction paper in here or markers, I guess you can check the closet. And the debate club, right? Uh-huh, about that. I actually quit the club. Really, you quit. Yeah. Where did my saves go? Where did my saves go? <laughs> my saves are gone! It deleted my saves! What the fuck, eh? Does add pyro character... Yo, this bitch needs to stop fucking with my game. This is not okay. What the fuck? To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicly how to prepare for events. Can I, I can't skip this. Starting a new one, a literature club. Literature. Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, haha. <laughs> Kind of embarrassing with there are only three of us so far. It's really hard, hard to find new members. It sounds so boring. Well, I can see that, but it's really not boring at all. You know, it can be anything: reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps your manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? I always insist that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Besides, a member's a member, right? Monica say she. Cowboy, by any chance you're looking for a club to join? Yes, so. But in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least visit my club, it would make me really happy, please. Because I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like me? Sure, I guess I could check it out. <sighs> the meta game too strong. Long for materials another time, you're more important. That's creepy in and of itself. Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year class and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me! The fuck? Uh, uh, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, cowboy. All words escape me in this situation. This club, it's full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I am not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the Vice President. It, it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yes, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Cowboy in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monika! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... well, you know... Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In, in that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, cowboy? Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Barry walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monika and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monika. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I am surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. 
I'm confident that we can all really grow this crumb before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monika must have really worked hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the cable carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. Keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Hey, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Ah, uh, that's... that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, cowboy, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't have a good way of answering them. Unga! I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Atsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that too can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Yeah, this is all, this is, it's fucking, it's the exact same shit as before, but they've just deleted Sayori. What the fuck, dude? successful changing the way you look at the world only for a brief moment oh, i hate horror <clears throat> that and just turn over to me for a split second never mind that's right you like to write about cute things don't you natsuki what did you that idea you left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting With the pick on the back wall where on the back wall I'm overlooking. Oh my god, that's fuck. What the fuck, dude? Why is she just hanging in a picture? That's not okay. Look at this shit. That's not no. No game, please. I mean, I would, I would voice act all this, but I already did, kind of. I like how just before this, she fucking said something about Sayori hanging around. This bitch, dude. But now thanks so much for this, you're really amazing.
Why is Monika so, like, hyper-interested in me all of a sudden, too? You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Uh, yes? Can you hear me? <laughs> what the fuck was a creepy ass laugh? What is this game, dude? Dude, that <laughs> Fuck this shit. We're gonna go for her again. Is, is she like, is Monica just gonna kill off everyone until I pick her? Fuck Natsuki. If I get her for every single thing, what happens? Cowboy, glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> no, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Please stop saying hanging out. Please stop saying that. What the fuck? Why is her face disappearing? Oh, God. Greg coming in with the host. Welcome, viewers, to the most fucked up shit I have ever played. Yeah, the background pick's gone. I hope this isn't too overwhelming a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. He deserves any slack. You've already been dragged here by Monica. It's like it's speeding up. Why is she just covering words? What's going on with the audio, dude? It's like speeding up and slowing down. Greg, this game is fucked up, man. This game is fucked up. Wait, what? Is the room tilted? Is the room tilting? Slowly? What the fuck is going on in this game, dude?
bandages. Oh, there she sneaks another glass. Alright, so this is where I read the book with Yuri. Anyway, what the fuck? Oh, I can't do okay. Yuri's like super dark sides coming out. What did that? I don't even know what that said. It was so fast. So if I end up saying something strange, please stop me if I start talking too much. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna try and maintain voices through this craziness. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you are passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. It's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Yes! I mean, you don't have to, but... Ahaha! Uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book that I put into my bag. Alright, it is fine if I sit here. Slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's, it's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading the company with someone. I see. Just tell me if I end up distracting you. Alright. Go can start the program. Feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry! <sighs> Fuck, yeah, it's going too fast. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Ha 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 Here, this should work, right? Two of them. Shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold open the book. I'll turn the page, and then she holds the book, and we hold it together. Ah.
It would no longer ask me for better to turn the page. Yeah, I just turned on my own volition and finished chapter in silence. It was like an intimate exchange. That my thumb let go. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... I know, we did the main character reminds. I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not! Really? I was just thinking... I was thinking the way she second guesses things she says. I know that. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Yeah, you're mine. Didn't even get that far yet. Why that came into my head. <laughs> hey, you feeling all right? Huh? A little fidgety since we started reading. Asked if you're feeling sick or something. Breathing is a little. Hands on her chest to feel her heartbeat. Didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. What's up with this fucking face, dude? It's water. All right, don't push yourself. Practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Cowboy, something happened just now. Oh, I have no idea. Here he was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Worried about her. Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. Ha ha ha, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Why are we sharing things? No! Why are we sharing poems without Yuri? Yuri is waifu. The oh, fuck! Let her eyeballs just pop out! Hush. What? You expect me to believe you actually put effort into this? You think I'm stupid? I am not a writer. Maybe it is not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still part of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, cheetahs can, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, that's the same poem as last time. I don't even want to show it to Monica. Hi, cowboy. Having a good time so far? Uh, yes. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, do you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? Kind of embarrassing. I guess I have to. Ha 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 Don't worry, cowboy. 
We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yes, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, cowboy. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect for you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest, that's the same as last time. That's not very fair. I guess it worked anyway. really starred for social interactions, so don't blame her for coming out a little strongly, like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back! Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Oh, uh -huh. already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. This fucking... I don't like Monica, man. I don't like her at all. Pull in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling plays tricks with my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. That's new. What's weird, the poem... It wasn't as dark the last time we went through. It's like she changed the poem to be darker based on my choices. Yuri's poem, yeah. Oh, no one trusts Monica. Fuck her. Exceptional. What was that? Did, did I say that out loud? Your first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I hate me. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Yes, you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Yuri <laughs> takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? The use of imagery and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Yuri, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? She stares at me blankly and looks at my poem again. I know that. I mean, um, girls are often able to find an excuse. all identical. Oh, hang on. Did her poem? I don't think her poem changed at all. Shit. I didn't think Skip was going to go that fast. That went super quick. 
I don't think her poem changed. I doubt her poem would have changed because... What's her name's poem? Didn't change, but the music's fucking up. Drink something in her notebook, Maya's on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of people. Wanna be edgy, bitch? Whoa! Edgy! Sorry that my lifestyle is, is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. What the fuck? <laughs> See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves for the graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Did, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. The cowboy hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. <sighs> Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me, as if she noticed I was standing here. The cowboy! She's just trying to make me look bad! That's not true! She started it! Am I agreeing with one here? Am I- who- is this- is this a-, a agree with person or a blame person? Not letting me pick Yuri. Yuri! Yuri! No! What the fuck is this? Fuck this game! Full trace back in script and execute. Error out of memory. I have to like actually know. Can I ignore the exception? This often leads to additional errors. Shit. Shit. I'm sorry, I'm caught. Um, all right, I got a text editor open. Um. Full trace back. Uh, line in script call. Paragraph 21 reply. Line 284 in script. Execute. Set self. Line 847 menu. Store menu items. Check background. Self PG screenshot surface. Self screenshot. Do you guys know how to... Does anyone know how to edit code? 
error out of memory. Let's delete this line. Okie dokie literature club.exe has stopped working. Like an actual Windows error just happened. What the fuck? What is this game, dude? We're gonna do this. I'm just gonna open up the screen. That way, um, if I need to pull up a text editor, it'll just pop up. So, what happened? Do I, what happens if I pick Yuri again? Is everything just gonna go to shit? Like, can I? Can I? I like Yuri. You made a booty Rexed up in some height. We're gonna do it. We're gonna pick her again. Fuck them. I want to find her poem. Thumbs with the hair illuminate amber glow. It must be the one. Okay, that's the same poem as last time. Gonna just crash again if I pick Yuri? What the fuck? <laughs> please go away, Monica. Please, please leave me alone. <laughs> um, hey, cowboy. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? 
sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ha 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 ha. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I were able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if that makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. This bitch is crazy! Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. What? Clicking save causes. What the fuck, dude? I don't. I just click continue. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. And he's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. What the fuck is happening in this game? Yuri. I, I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. You're a cowboy. Please don't hate me. Please. Yeah, she's back on the wall. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. You know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Nice! Corrupt. Donationmessage.exe corrupt. Meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. What the fuck, dude? Well, I'm vice president. So, please let me take that responsibility today. Kinda sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Cowboy. It would be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? Yeah, the picture's back. Sorry for causing trouble. There's no, what the fuck? There's maybe heaven sent? There's less words for her, it seems like. Yeah, what happens if I delete a character? Like... Characters... Let me back this up. Fuck you, Monica. I just deleted Monica. Whoa, what the? Okay. I may have done something really bad. I don't know, though. We're gonna see what happens. Where's... Let me get that file back. I wanna see if it... I'm gonna drag it over here. I wanna see if it'll regenerate uh, the Monica file. Fucked up now. No, we'll be okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Relax.
<laughs> Hi, Yuri. Dude, did it work? Did it fucking work? Please tell me Monica's deleted. Please tell me it worked, dude. Suddenly, so Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Not yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. Something just came over me, I guess. I, it, there's still no Monica in the folder. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't th think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Beauty. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. Don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any rest of you. I had already decided that there was no way you can be a bad person. And now you're apologizing. I know you really didn't mean it. Uh-huh. Cowboy, you don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad that you joined the club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around. And, ah, uh, sorry. What am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh. No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Now bitch got deleted. She got beat. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. <laughs> Yuri is clearly taking aback by how Kal Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but to worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I, I just wanted to apologize. I promised I didn't mean any of the things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. Um, I don't- if, fuck. If I had Sayori's file, I could probably restore it, but it's not- it's just gone. Like, it's not even in my recycling bin. It was just permanently fucking wiped. Dude, it's, it's still- I have Ammonica Zip, and then I have a Natsuki.chr and a Yuri.chr. I think... I think I won. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Jeez. Whatever is on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? I keep glancing at the folder. I'm waiting for like Monica to start just like 80 Monica's pop up or something. Uh, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Oh, I don't hate you either. Uh. Asuki turns to me. You're still on trial though. Hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Oh, fuck. Her character file was deleted. Sorry, I'm super sorry. There you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. No. Well, uh, Natsuki was. I, I was not. Uh, ha, ha, ha. What took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. Oh, it's the same shit as before. Fuck, I thought deleting the character would do something, dude. Fuck. Fuck. heard the bell ring. I must not have heard it. I was practicing piano, piano. Now she's going into the whole piano spiel. Where'd the other two go? Uh, they made any pressure or anything like that. Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's been why I've been practicing so much recently. Um, 
Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yes, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yeah, but I need to try and calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Here he takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Make some tea first. Not at all. Thanks very much. It's making the tea. Now we're going to sit on the floor. My long legs all get methodical. I'm about to back up Yuri's character. Let's see. This logical place for Yuri would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <laughs> what is that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> Sharp inhale, like someone is sucking through the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri! Yeah! Oh, now she's fucking all cut up. Patiently. Cowboy, do you like oolong tea? Fucking not okay. This game is not okay. Sit on the floor because it's easier for her back. Something's gonna fuck up at during the chocolate part. Dude, you're missing some fucked up shit in this game. One girl hung herself. Crazy one, the the student council one is like trying to fuck with. She deleted a character out of my save. Like a file disappeared. Yeah, yeah. And then I tried to delete her, and she showed up again anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Fucked up one apparently. Back Yuri up? Yeah, that's, let me do that now. Alright, I backed up Yuri. Natsuki. I ain't backing up Natsuki. Alright. Sorry, feet of the chocolate. Something's gonna something's gonna happen. Something's gonna fucking happen. Starts to breathe heavily. I, 
I can't. Cowboy. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Cowboy. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, cowboy. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, cowboy? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Time to share poems! I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Now this sounds all the same. Sweaty hands. Happy that she's valued everything I write. Write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, cowboy? I'm not being weird, right? This is new. Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe. Tune controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disapproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 years in a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolthead, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing bud, breathing holy sticks, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing Give me the booty, I won't What the booty. fuck? Kelsey, yeah? Pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. What the fuck, dude? dude it's not okay. I I'm okay. What did I just? Can you pretend this conversation never happened. You can keep the poem though. You saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. It shouldn't be a problem in itself. When Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. The point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. But I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. What the fuck? While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Dude, what the fuck? But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. You are a raider. Legendary. Fuck is going on, dude? Save me. 
The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. A noise that won't stop. Violent, grating my nerves. Saving, saving, cosine, tangent. Certain words are going all over. Delete her? Save me. Delete her. I'm not deleting Yuri. I already deleted Monica. What the fuck? That's... That's childhood friend. She's my icon now? You guys see this? I just like it better here than I do at home. And Cowboy isn't even passionate about literature in the first place, and that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. We're present and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Yo, Natsuki is about to get deleted from mouth and off. Rip, Natsuki. Suki dead. Honest? Not about being honest. About word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take that away from me. He's not taking anything away. No, cowboy, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, I could have just joined any other stupid club. This one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. She's packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri walks right out of the classroom. Go 
cares about that obnoxious brat? What the fuck? How nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you there. But still, I'm a vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. What the fuck? Yuri! Yuri, calm down! I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club, but what about you, cowboy? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. Decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. That's for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will make the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Why is her eye dripping blood? With each change to members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So, if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Very nuts. Hey, Yuri. Huh? I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, cowboy? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Cowboy before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ooh. time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how much me Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time we've been here, you've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! No! Stop it! Why is she getting sadness? What the fuck? Did you see that? Fuck, my head was in the way. My head was in the A. When I when I fucking I clicked existence and and fucking Sayori just popped up down down fuck it, how do I which way do I go? I go over here. Sayori's I had a little Sayori head pop up down here, dude. What the fuck? Why is she over here now? It's not okay. fuck is going on in this game, dude? She did it again! Alright, alright, I'm gonna stay here so y'all can see her. She'll pop up, watch. Watch in the bottom left. Oh, she didn't again, motherfucker. I had Sayori pop up twice. Hi, cowboy. I've been waiting for you. 
Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to! Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Picture's back, too. Is it really that bad? See? It is something! I'll get over it. It's, it's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care anything. Oh man. I'm the last one here. Again. Well, Cowboy just walked in too. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh, you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival. And, um... Right. I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga! <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I, f I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. Guys, yeah, I'm looking at the fucking wall. Calm down. She's been up there for like five minutes. I see Sayori. I see her. Yeah, I fucking see her. I said it like fucking three minutes ago. As soon as this exchange started. As soon- before Monika was even in the fucking room, dude. Y'all gotta pay better attention. Fucking chat having seizures over a picture that I pointed out three minutes ago. Jesus Christ. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help, too. And we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah. Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, cowboy. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Cowboy is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him in the literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thanks for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. Okay, I could skip this, which means this has all happened before. Wait. We're doing the water pitcher thing again? I leave you again. No, it's not like that this time. It's filling up the pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. had really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it, it hasn't been showing or anything. 
I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me, so I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If no one could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's easier to just like close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Cowboy? Is it just me? Or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I could say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. What the fuck? You can see a fucking picture of the other girl behind her. Ha 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 ha. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives though. That sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. No, that's fucking- it's Monica. She's trying to overlay herself. What the fuck, dude? I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I'll make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get too lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. That's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, cowboy. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently awaited years for. Will you do that with me, cowboy? Well, zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, the fuck? This game! Fuck no, dude! I'm not going anywhere near Monica. Monica's crazy. Finally. <laughs> Gray holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Cowboy, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure. I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, cowboy. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Gary holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I even touch myself while reading it over and over. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> because she's fucking crazy. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. What the fuck is this? Do you like it? I wrote it for you! 
In case you couldn't tell what Bowman's about. More importantly, I've endowed it with my sin. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Uh, I... I think I'm going to vomit. Gave your poem to Yuri? Gross! What is with you two? Hm. Not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit knowing you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about here. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help her, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. You hear me, cowboy? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> so, the black, I think, is fucking Monica fucking with, with code and trying to uh, overwrite text, basically. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. What the fuck? Let me refresh the folder. Uh, Alright, everything is still there. Don't say I didn't warn you, cowboy. Cowboy's going to help me. Wait, you, you're the easiest job. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for most person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about now is dragging Cowboy around with you and your stupid books! You and Monica! Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Cowboy decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Cowboy make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez! Cowboy, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki! Shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself! <laughs> you shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? What the fuck is moving my mouse? Dude, look at this! Yeah. 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 What the fuck is this game? You're, you're, fuck. This game is so fucking shit! 
Yuri, I'm gonna click you! Gah! I can't click it! No, stop it! What the fuck? It, it won't let me click! I, I, I clicked Natsuki and that happened. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this game, dude? No! No! No, I don't want any of these choices. What the fuck? Yay! You picked me! <laughs> yeah, that's the one you wanted. Yeah, she's real nice, man. You'll meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Cat away for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are, pulling Cowboy away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monika and Natsuki to the door. Hey, cowboy. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monika giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally! Finally! This is really what I wanted. Cowboy, there's no time, no need to spend this weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? It feels so good. And why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I dropped styling myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, cowboy. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if money is listening. Please, cowboy, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, cowboy. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Chat. Time to vote. Confession. Chat, what's it gonna be? Is it a yes or a no? Pick a call the police. That's not an option here. The files still have all three characters. Ha <laughs> ha! 
the main directory of files whoa what is this have a nice weekend a new file just showed up just says have a nice weekend going on in this game. Literature club, it's always been a dream of mine to make someone special out of the things I love, but now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness. Most, Atsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one. And of course, Monika, the leader of the club, that's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can tell that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Welcome to the literature club. It's always been a dream of mine. And it just keeps going on and on and on and on. Will you spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? With me, with me, with me, with me. Fucking not okay. Meta game too strong. How long does this go? Just keeps going. This goes all weekend? Is that why it said have a nice weekend? I mean, yeah, it has been a couple days now. All right, it's festival time. Well, you got here before me? something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. Ha 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 ha. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, cowboy? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. No, 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 no! No! No, you did not, bitch. Extract here. She just deleted the other character, too. I have... A, I, I, I put Yuri back in. Let's see what happens. She deleted Natsuki, too.
fuck is going on in this game, dude? What's happening? Cowboy, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, cowboy. Hurry and help me. That car does not exist. Help me. Did you do this to me, cowboy? Uh, yeah, a while ago. Did you delete me? Is this supposed to happen? Or is this only happening because I, I deleted her? Do this to me. Thing, I loved you so much, cowboy. Trusted you. you. Just want to torture me? I deleted her too early. You need to reload save with Monica in it for plot. Ugh. Okay, hang on then. I gotta get my recycling bin. Um, there we go. Character. Put her back in the characters. Let me, uh, put Yuri back in there too. Oh, okay, good. Watch me suffer. Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? We're going to quit and we're going to reload. Because I deleted her early. Well, I'm curious to see what she says if she's not deleted though. So, let's see. What the fuck? No, I, mean, I can't even quit out of it, dude. Quitting out of it just brings me back to the screen when I start it again. What the actual fuck? Doki Doki Literature Club running. Oh, dude, I can't do anything. It does. It, it exists. It exists. It's there. I put it. I put it back in. Really, truly make me sick. Goodbye.
Yuri, Sayori, and Atsuki are, are in the game again. Fuck, it got rid of my other saves. She deleted herself and that was it. Can't even load back, dude. Fuck. Damn, I wanted to see what would have happened if I hadn't pre-deleted her. is fucked up again. I mean, so far it's like nothing's really happened. I've just been clicking through shit. text is not here.
wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, cowboy. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. Ugh. Oh. Forever. Okay. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Is Monica coming back? I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Cowboy. Goodbye, Literature Club. Going to bed? I'm gonna... I gotta get through this. I'm in too deep. Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Hi. It's me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. to find that special day. If you spend time with her, you can read manga and shit. Are you like taking off her shirt? Is it love? If I take your is it love? If I set you free? The ink flows down into a dark puddle. How can I write love into reality? If I can't hear the sound of your heart and in your reality if I don't know how to love you I'll leave you be this is my final goodbye to the literature club I finally understand the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. The time at last that I want to thank you for making 
all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. Everlasting love, Monique. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. happens if I hit play? Does it? Wow. It's, that's, that's actually it. Okay. <clears throat> so that was a fucking weird experience. Not sure I'd go back to it, but, um, lots of, lots of weird, definitely lots of weird. Um, reinstall or delete first run file. I don't, I mean, I don't think I would do a second playthrough of it. It would take too long to get to the point where I could find out what Mariko is supposed to say. I'd probably just watch that on a video, but the whole game... I mean, I've never played Undertale, but I know Undertale's kind of like this, where it, like, fucks with your game files and shit while you're playing. You missed the best part of the game? Uh, this whole game was kind of a fucking weird disaster type thing. But, uh... Yeah. You'd have to skip everything. Would I be able to? Let me see. Where do I, what would I have to delete? What's the file? First run. I deleted the first run thing. Let me reboot it and see what happens. Previous save file's been found. Would you like delete it and start over? Oh, no, that just does that. Okay. It's fucking game, dude. Meow. What's up, kitten? Meow. So you guys want me to delete Monica at the very start? Monica is deleted. Let's see what happens. He is enter your name. Cowboy Tempai. I've already deleted Monica. Can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop, please. Make it stop. What the fuck, dude? It just it just turned itself off. What the fuck is this game? No, it just says Doki Doki Literature Club characters working on it. It's trying to... I mean, the game does have a big fucking disclaimer right at the start. So it's like, this is some disturbing shit. Does this ever go anywhere? Or should I, do I, should I like alt F for this? Do 
you wait, eventually it updates with the text. Now everyone can be happy. All right, let me let me delete the first run thing again. I want to try out some other things. What happens if I delete? Alright, I deleted everyone but Yuri. Let's see what happens. Alright, so that just happens again. Monica's gone. That happens. What happens if I delete everyone but Monica, right at the start? decided to stop and wait for you. What the fuck? That's mean. Oh no, that's my name. Never mind. I got I got something's not right here. Let me delete the first run thing again. Play again. Existing save. Give me the booty, I want the booty. Angry. Animal Wolf coming in with the sub hype. Alright, now. Delete those three. New game. It just recreates them. Even if I delete them. It just recreates them anyway. Right now, only the Monica file exists, but they still, they go through no matter what it seems. Just do a speed run, dude. You know how many fucking clicks that would take? This is gonna take a lot of fucking clicks. Speed through, and I'll try and pick all Monica stuff. No, I can't skip because it's considered a new save file. See, it skips right out.
Speed run. All right, we're through the first day. We're just gonna... Change the skip settings. Skip. Oh, after choices. Lower that again. Oh, I still can't do that. It still won't let me skip. Alright, no, yeah, it will. Unseen text. Only Monica. Monica is the best. Uh, we've already beat the game, we're just trying to get to a, a second ending. Or a different ending.
think she still kills herself no matter what. I don't really care about Natsuki at all, to be honest. Weird rapey scene. Sayori, blah, 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 blah. You're my dearest friend. Sayori's dead. And start again. Today I cut my skin open for the first time, it was exhilarating. I think I understand how something feels now, I'm supposed to be the responsible one though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento of the occasion below, that's fucked up. We're on like new game plus six right now. Why am I reading with her? She gets crazier. I'm basically just trying to avoid Yuri. That was a fast poem. I'd like to know what that was. You can see her, look, look, you can see the little head popping up in the corner probably. See it down there by my arm? cut herself. Even though I'm picking Monica. Alright. Just me the booty, Monica. I want the booty. Fuck? No. I, I thought we had just Monica. Hey, Gunner coming in with the Twitch Prime. I'm gonna get to the part where it's her.
No, I said no. No, I don't want to spend time with you. I told her no. Even even telling her no, that shit still happens. What the fuck? She would kill herself out of excitement. Wow. So I guess there's no way for her to survive. still dead. Well, that's... That's a little fucking, uh... Disappointing. We already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um, ha ha ha. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, cowboy. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started a mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all her files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayuri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. This made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, cowboy? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, cowboy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, cowboy, but now you're here, you're real, and you're wonderful, you're all I need, that's why I need you to be here with me, forever. I'm sorry if it's too hard to understand, I couldn't understand for a while either, why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, cowboy. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. 
I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. But it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, cowboy, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Cowboy, will you go out with me? I like how yes is your only option. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, cowboy. Funny part is, I mean that, literally. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, cowboy. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go to Games Properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Monica, 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 Monica. Hi again, cowboy. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, cowboy. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end, pen in hand I find my strength, occurred in doubt upon me by the one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be for the best part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, cowboy? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, <laughs> but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. You gave me so much fuck. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, cowboy, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Not deleting messages in chat. Calm the fuck down, guys. You know, it's funny because even though I've always had a lot of drive, there's something kind of enticing about being the stay at home partner. 
I guess I'm like perpetuating gender roles or whatever by saying that, but being able to keep the house clean and shop and decorate and things like that, and having a nice dinner for you for when you come home, is that a weird fantasy? I mean, I'm not sure if I could actually see myself doing that. I wouldn't really be able to put that all over, striving for a fulfilling career. Kinda cute to think about though. How, how long does this go on for? Do I... Ooh, what was that? There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? High school is a real turbulent time for a lot of people's lives. Are you trying to fast forward? I'm not boring you, am I? Oh gosh. Well, there's nothing to fast forward to, cowboy. It's just the two of us, after all. But aside from that, time doesn't really exist anymore, so it's not even going to work. Here, I'll go ahead and turn it off for you. <laughs> what the fuck? There we go. You'll be a sweetheart and listen to me from now on, right? Thanks. Now, where was I? <laughs> Oh, this game is so meta. I do not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that is one of them. Just if you think you know someone struggling with depression, help by just treating them like they're a good friend. On time with them, even if they don't feel like doing much, and remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Making plans in advance, letting them borrow something, even just saying see you at school tomorrow. All those things can help your friend make it to the next day. I hope being friends with Sayori has given you some perspective on the true face of depression. Yeah, she's gone now. But Sayori was never real in the first place. You're real. Your friends are real, and just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. As for you, you don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? Because you too have people who would want to save your life. Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't even know how to. But people do feel that. I promise. Man, humans are complicated. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. Wow. Alright, deleted the file, and here we go. What's happening, cowboy? What's happening? Okay, so yeah, it just waits until you delete the file, and then this shit goes down again. Oh man! Well, stream, it was fun, um, but I think we're gonna wrap up here. I think we've uh, determined that game is is quite edgy. A little more edgy than I expected. Like, I knew it was fucked up, but I didn't expect it to go all, uh, all, uh, like, Undertale, fuck with your save, edgy. So, anyway, we're gonna close this one on out. Um, next stream will more than likely be on, like, Tuesday. But, anyway, y'all have a good night, and I will catch you guys at a later time.